what you see here, ladies and gentlemen, is the perfect example of what boxing has become. Here you have Errol Spence Jr. coming off of a devastating beatdown last year in the ring, bloated as hell, trying to line up the fight with Sebastian Fundora. Or shall I say, introducing to the world the Fundora versus Spence fight, because we know it's about to happen. This dude is in the ring. It's so it, it's weird to see it because it 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 was like we was in Twilight Zone. Because I'm like, hold on, my guy, you ain't been doing nothing. You ain't been doing nothing. All you've been doing is hiding out, being the recluse. You ain't. I I, I mean I doubt he's really been in the gym. Look at the fat motherfucker, man. Even Crawford already acknowledged it. You know, he's like a linebacker, man. So you're in the ring. He's in the ring like he been putting in work the whole year. He's in the ring like he been catching wreck at welterweight. Like he moved up to 154. He been beating dudes up and was waiting for Zoo Fandora winner because he deserves it. Dude ain't got no belts. Just got his ass smoked by Bud last year. But he in the ring like he the top shotter. Like, like he's the dude that dude's got to see. Bro, sit your ass down, bro. This is the reason why it's so hard to like Errol Spence, man. And this is the reason why uh, I, I, I'm definitely, like I've always been saying, I don't believe these injury shits. I don't believe them, bro. I don't believe him. I'm not going to talk about the other fighters that I, I already told you. I don't believe those. I try my best to believe in these dudes' injuries. But this dude, Spence, I don't believe that shit. I don't believe that cataract shit, bro. He had the surgery, right? So, my thing is, my thing is this, bro. When you, when you, when you, when he's supposed to line it up with Fundora? When? What? June? Summertime? When are you going to line it up? When are they going to have Fandora sit around and wait for Spence to, to, to fight like September? That's probably what's going to happen. They're going to probably have Fandora sit around, don't take another fight, and then probably going to be a little rusty and Spence going to get in there and probably win. But I doubt, he, I still don't think he's going to be Fandora. I'm waiting for, hey, yo, listen, man. I want the fight to happen, bro, for, for two reasons. Because I want... I really want two outcomes to happen if they fight, when they fight. Either A, I want Fedora to go in there and whip, beat his motherfucking ass to a pulp and send him back into the retirement home somewhere. Or B, I hope he beats Fedora, get those belts, and then Bud aggressively come after him for those belts. And then we're going to see what where his where his head is at because I think he don't want no more parts of Terrence Crawford, man. Because if he really wanted that rematch, even even if even if the rematch the, he waited too long and all this other shit, if even if, if he really wanted to fight Bud again, why he didn't just wait for Bud? Because he just petitioned to fight the winner of this Fandora Zoo fight. Why he just don't wait? Why he ain't wait for Bud to fight Fandora and then call out Bud? He's just a bitch, bro. That's why he ain't do. He know that. And y'all dudes that support this clown, y'all always talking about. Remember when you talking about the easy route? Now you know he was really talking about the fucking easy route, meaning not easier to make the fight, easier a easier fight in Sean Porter. That's what that was about, bro. He's showing you right now with the Fandora shit. He know uh, that's why he wanted to fight Zul or Fandora because he know that's an easier, it would be an easier fight for him than the Terrence Crawford. All right? You could couple in the fact that it's easier to make because these dudes is, you know what I mean? Um, because uh, Fandora is on, that, is on that same side and all that other shit. Hey, Fandora, he is PBC, right? But 
I, I'm, I'm just saying, man. I just woke up, man. I'm fucking tired. I just wake up, and I see, first thing I see on my feed is a picture of Spence in the ring with Fedora, and that shit pissed me off, bro, because you ain't do nothing, bro. Who are you, bro? You, you had your opportunity. You was the man at the time, which I think you was a hype job. You lost. You got your ass whooped by Terrence Crawford. Deal with it. Stay and get back in line like Buzz said, like everybody else got to do. You ain't nobody special, bro. Or or, or is he? Yeah, I told y'all. Errol Spence is the darling, spoiled brat of the PBC. He going to get what he want. Even though, even, even though he can hopscotch over Terrence Crawford to get two belts. When Crawford just came off undisputed, did what he had to do. It don't matter. Liquids, Lick Dicks, he said it. Um, Leonard Smellerby said it. Tell you right there what they about, man. They, that's why they gonna get their karma too. Like um, PBC. I mean, come on, man. Did you see the fucking post, the post fight talk? The conference motherfuckers had the chairs set up in the fucking ring, bro. That's how far PBC had fallen from grace. They went from official quality Showtime post-fight conferences to sitting in the motherfucking audio, uh, uh, boxing ring with fold-down chairs, bro. That shit looked so cook cookout-ish. <laughs> that shit looked like mad tacky, bro. But it, it's, it's disturbing, man. But, you know, um, boxing or... You can't even say boxing. You might as well say PVC is the main culprit in this. So they they just exposing themselves for what they are, bro. Anybody that follows boxing or anybody that really loves the sport can't get behind the Errol Spence fight behind Spence skipping over Terrence Crawford. I'm waiting to see these these Spence loving channels. I want to see if they actually condone this shit or if they or if they actually uh or they find a way to justify it. Okay? Because these are the same dudes, right? That will flame like a Canelo for doing something like that or you know what I mean? When it comes to like other fighters that they, they want Canelo to fight. They want Canelo to fight. And they, other dudes springboard over Benavidez or something like that. Oh, shit, man. That, yo, that dude was in line to fight um, um Benavidez. That, that's fucked up. Benavidez was in line to fight him. How, how he get to skip over Benavidez? All right, well, then it's the same thing with Terrence Crawford right now. He dominated Errol Spence. Spence ain't put in no work since then. Not even a tune-up fight, bro. He ain't even getting no tune-ups in. <sighs> they freezing him out. Everybody know it. It ain't gonna work out. It ain't, gonna, it ain't gonna end well for him, though. It's not. And Spence gonna get everything he asked him for when he fight for Nduro. He gonna get jabbed to death. You couldn't even deal with Terrence Crawford's jab, which is an, ever, is an educated jab. And I still don't think you can deal with Fendora. His jab ain't nowhere near as good as Bud jab. I still think he'll fuck you up with his jab. And I hope he do. And then I hope he break your fucking eye. You know what I mean? And yeah. I'm not letting I'm I'm letting it all off on this motherfucker. I ain't, I ain't being nice to this motherfucker no more. I should never have been nice to him in the begin in the beginning. Cause I knew he was a snake. But I was just trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. All of the spin supporters talking about, yo, he the one that made the fight. He made it happen. Motherfucker, he 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 garnered his own. Uh, he garnered his own, um, he had to gin up some courage to fight Terrence Crawford, bro. He thought about the bag to courage ratio. He was like, oh, I'm going to make $25, $30 million in one night plus back in. Shit. I know I can't fuck with Bud, but fuck it, I'm jumping in the fire. That's y'all idea of courage, bro. That ain't courage. Because if that was the case, why everybody shitting on Charlo? Jamel Charlo did the same thing to Canelo. He knew he couldn't fuck with that boy. But he jumped in the ring for that bag. I think Errol went, he went there, he, 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 gave, he gave Bud a few shots and all of that. You know what I mean? He went there to lay down too, bro. 
got his ass whooped. Once he felt that punch, that power, he was like, all right, you know what? Nah, I underestimated it. I ain't going to be, I'm not going to beat this motherfucker like Kuta Kente. Nah, no, sir. He hit too hard. Motherfucker, motherfucker jab, Bud jab was fucking snapping his neck. I thought Bud was going to punch his head to a 360 fucking, into a 360 spin, bro. How hard he was hitting that motherfucker, man. Yeah, you look. You spence heads, you you fucking aerosexuals, come on with it. Let's see the excuse. Let's see if you're a fan of a boxer or a fan of the sport. If you're a fan of the sport, you ain't standing behind this bullshit. If you're a fan of Errol Spence, we already know what the fuck you're going to say, man. You're going to hold his nuts for him like you always do. Every last one of you channels. Let me see if any of these dudes make any videos. Let's see if BFTB come out and, con and, and condone this shit. Let's see if Knockout Box 96 TV come out and condone this shit. All right, let's see. And there's a lot of other channels too. But those two channels are the main two spins, nut huggers right there. So let's see if 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 they do that. If they don't condone it, they they fanboys, man. They they spins sexuals, bro. Fuck these niggas, man. This is crazy, man. But all these dudes got something to do with this shit. Floyd, Leonard Ellerby, aka Leonard Smellerby, PBC, Al Heyman, Errol Spence. All these dudes is in cahoots with each other, bro. They all planned this shit to fuck over Terrence Crawford, man. To try to, to deny his greatness because he don't want to play by their rule book. Oh, you ain't down with the team? Then you ain't getting you ain't getting what you want. It's kind of like a female. I don't want to have a train ran on her. And they like, oh, well, but we ain't taking you home, then. You stay stay out. Stay at the party. Bitch ass nigga. Dude, that's crazy. But anyway, Errol lost. I, any little bit of respect I have for Errol Spence is gone. It's gone. Because he's a duck. He always been a duck. People been telling you he's a duck. But y'all made yourself feel good by saying he only, he took the, he made the fight happen. He made it happen. Y'all said he was scared. Bro, he didn't want to make that fight, bro. He he wanted that bag. He wanted that bag. And his, his team didn't want him to make the fight. That's why they strung it along. They knew he couldn't fuck with Bud. But they was like, oh, you know what? He's the darling child. Let's uh, okay. You know, let's let's give our let's give our boy what he wants. And then he got the fight. Merely to get the bag. Bud, would, Bud was playing with him that whole fight. If he wanted to get his ass out of there early, he would have smoked him like in the second, third round, I believe. But Bud wanted to stretch it out for the fans and carry that boy. So he, he carried him, bro. He could have knocked him smooth the fuck out anytime he wanted to, but he carried him. Just for the fans' pleasure. He carried his ass. And Arrow still couldn't make him competitive because as it went on, it was more worse for him. It was worse for him. That cataract shit the fuck out of here. All of a sudden, magically, this nigga eyes is better now. And he wants smoke with Fundora. Or what? If his eyes still healing, you think everybody got to wait around for you? He, he expect Fundora to sit around and wait for him. And that's what I'm saying. That's exactly what Fundora probably going to do. Sit around and, and, and wait on Spence like a fucking idiot. So either way it go, bro. We gonna, we gonna see even further exposure of Errol Spence. He put himself into a corner. And, and his team did too. He fights Fondora and wins. He gotta see Bud. If he don't see Bud, he a sucker. And everybody gonna see it. If he loses, he get beat the fuck down. And get exposed again. Further exposed. Probably uh, sent into a retirement home or some shit like that. Either way, I'm cool with either way. Because he gonna be exposed either way it go, bro. Either move he make, he gonna get exposed, bro. Let's see how it go. Anyway, this is your boy, Rebel Life Boxing. Drop a comments, like, and all that. Subscribe, everything. And I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. Let me know what y'all think about this bitch-ass nigga, Errol Spence, man. I'm out.